Well, a place that brought a sense of home for people in Hampton Roads is officially closing its doors this week. We've been telling you about the battle over Hershey Bar, considered the only lesbian bar in Hampton Roads. Now the iconic location is in its final hours after the owner of the land decided to sell back to the city. Tonight your side's Gina Arevalo joins us live in Norfolk at the bar on Sewell's Point Road. And Gina, there are a lot of emotions tonight. Yeah, Anita, very much so. I spoke with the bar owner earlier and she didn't want to speak on camera, but she tells me she's feeling heartbroken. It's been a tough week and she just wishes there was some way, some sort of a miracle to keep the bar open. And it's the same feeling felt by everyone inside here tonight. From the outside, it may not seem like much, but for the people inside, the Hershey Bar is their safe place. I found a group of people here that can't be matched. Um, this is home. To a lot of us, it's a family. You can walk in here and get a smile and a hug and a hot meal. The bar owner has rented the space at the corner of Sewell's Point Road and Norview Avenue for 35 years. In February, the city of Norfolk bought the land after the property owners offered to sell it so the area could be revitalized. But part of that deal includes tearing down the buildings. Since then, patrons have gone to city council several times pleading for city leaders to help save their bar. Give us a facelift. Let us be the, the, the foundation of this corner like we have been or should have been the whole time. A city spokeswoman tells me they've tried working with the bar owner to find a new location, but they've been turned down. Last call for the bar is on Halloween. We fought with everything we had. I really... I really think Norfolk missed the mark on this one. Many people say it feels like a piece of them is dying. They're not sure where they'll go next. This is a safe haven for so many of us, and it worries me with the youth coming that they don't, they're not going to have a place like how we all had here. Now, it's not yet clear what the future plans are for this area once these buildings are demolished. We'll be sure to follow that update for you and bring it to you as soon as we know what it is. Reporting live in Norfolk, Gina Arevalo, 10 on your side.